The Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general store. Got something to say? Are you feeling sick? Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose, for a Nord village. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. I'll show you what I know. Lead the way. Still here. Let's get going then.
Thank you so much for taking the Riverwood Trader is ever my sister Camilla or I will be happy to help you. Maybe you're looking for something particular. It means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. Don't take this the wrong way, but you look a little sickly. Thank you so much for trinkets, odds and ends, and that sort of thing. Till next time. It's a fine day with you around. Alvar and I, we got a daughter, little Dorothy. I just hope the war doesn't come to Riverwood. There's enough trouble in the world without those storm cloaks stirring up more. Just follow the road north. When you get to Hunting Brew Meadery, turn left and the road will take you to the city gates. It's not far. We used to go to the market there every month or so, until the roads got so dangerous with the war and all. All right, then. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. Jarl Balgruf? He rules Whiterun Hold. A good man. Perhaps a bit overcautious. But these are dangerous times. So far, he's managed to stay out of the war. I'm afraid it can't last, though. I don't think he likes either Ulfric or Elisif much. Who can blame him? But I've no doubt he'll prove loyal to the Empire in the end. He's no traitor. Of course, Skyrim has always been part of the Empire. That doesn't mean I support everything the Empire's been doing lately. But Nords have never been fair-weather friends. Ah, I forget you're new to Skyrim. Jarl Elisif, I should say. Although only because she was married to Jarl Torig when he was murdered. Ulfric murdered Torig, you know. Walked right into his palace in solitude and killed him. Shouted him to death, if you believe the stories. That's what started this whole war. The Empire couldn't ignore that. Once the Jarls start killing each other, we're back to the bad old days. The finest weapons and armor. People are rightly stirred up about the damn Dalmor being allowed to roam around arresting people. Just for worshipping Talos. But was it worth tearing Skyrim apart and maybe destroying the Empire? No. Ulfric will have a lot to answer for in the end. Nords have always supported the Empire. And the Empire has always been good for Skyrim. 
Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. That's a decent weapon you can have. May the gods watch over your battles for whatever you need. Why you smear if it's not bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. Until next time. Iron or steel is what you need. Leave that fat. This looks good. You put time into your blades. They'll serve you well when you need them. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by tanning some leather on the rack. Mm-hmm. Take what you need, my friend. Within... I could forge you a war hammer that would crush a giant's head like a walnut. Ah, good. A lot of weapons and armor need leather for straps, fittings, that kind of thing. Let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. Mm-hmm. Whatever you need. Buy you smear if it's simple and strong. You looking for a new blade? Huh. I should hire you to be my assistant at this rate. Let's improve the fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. Aye. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course.
I could forge you a war hammer that would crush a giant. You have talent. Keep working at your craft, and you'll be a fine smith one day. Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Maybe you'll remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? Until next time. Out of my way, stranger.
It happened so fast. One minute the dragon was there, the next it was gone. Everything was destroyed. No. I was too afraid to look. I don't know what we're going to do now. We have nothing left. You're too kind. Thank you. Be careful and stay safe. Thank you for the gold, Traveler. Thank you for your kindness. Welcome. I'm the owner and proprietor of Hunting Brew. Hunting Brew uses only the finest natural. Take a look. Uh, until next time. You need if you want to buy something, go find Sab Yorn. Otherwise, piss off. If you need to sample some of the finest mead in Skyrim, you're in the right place. If you're looking to purchase any mead, speak to the owner, Sab Yorn.
Yes? The Circle are the ones who parcel out the jobs. That's Ayla, Skior, and the brothers, Farkas and Vilkas. Kodlak advises them, but he doesn't really give orders. Well, that's taken care of. No thanks to you. Certainly not. But a true warrior would have relished the opportunity to take on a giant. That's why I'm here, with my shield brothers. An outsider, eh? Never heard of the Companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Kodlak Whitemane, up in Yurvaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. I'm here to help. Too confusing for me. Empire, Nords, Talos, who cares? Just tell me who needs bludgeoning. Vilkas and I have been here since we were little whelps. Our father Jürgen raised us here. Even Vigner couldn't remember companions younger than us. Mm-hmm. We could always use help picking crops if you need a few extra coins. A man like you needs a war horse, I reckon. Ride strong. Need a horse? Talk to my father, Skolvar. Blood on the wind today. Good hunt ahead of us. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Greymane for help? Huh. 
I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Damn those Greymanes to oblivion. They want to back the Stormcloaks, they'll get what's coming to them. Greymane or Battleborn? Got stones in your ears? I asked what side you're on. Greymane or Battleborn? New in town, huh? White Run's got two clans, both old and both respected. Difference is, the Greymanes turned their backs on the Empire, and we Battleborn stayed loyal. So I'll ask again, Greymane or Battleborn? Sooner or later, we all have to choose a side. Long live the Empire. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Aye, that I do. I've got to, if I hope to be as good as your... It's a sword. I made it for the Jarl. Balg... Listen, could you take the sword to my father, Preventus Avenici? He's the Jarl's steward. He'll know the right time to present it to him. Thanks. Hmm, plenty. I'd say we're prosperous enough. Most folk don't go hungry, if they're willing to work hard. The city's ruled by the Jarl up in Dragon's Reach. That's the fortress there, up on the tall hill. But you're probably more interested in your Vasker, Mead Hall of the Companions. Their deeds of war and valor are legendary. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything.